you know what? We'll watch this. End of an era. You know, it just looks terrible. <sighs> Jesus. I used to have really nice hair. That is fucked up, man. That is, f bro, that is actually fucked. Like, that. Nah, bro, like, that's. Nah, nah, that. Really? Wow, that's. Fuck, dude. Long hair. I'm a musician, a uh, front man in a band, and that was part of my identity. Jesus, me starting this hair to lose was perfect. That, I felt like I was starting to lose a part of myself. But uh, yeah, as you can see, God, fuck, bro, bro, like, oh my God, that's oh fuck, man. At least my, mine's not even nearly that bad. Yeah, my, mine's mine's all right. Red light therapy. That's unfair. That's it's just wrong, man. That's what it is. It's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Going out and everything. That would be one of the first things someone Dude, would say to me is, "Wow, your hair is so beautiful." And you know, girls too. Hey, you have better hair than me. And uh, yeah, it just was a self-esteem booster too. It was almost like sure. just that one extra thing that I had. Right. Been suffering with hair loss, with stress, and all that kind of stuff for like, oh god, like the last two, three years. I started thinking to myself, like, there's no way that someone's gonna think I'm attractive if I go bald at, you know, 24, 25. True. So I threw That's on the same way I felt about it. Now I'm like 32, so a lot of my friends, not only are they bald, but they're fat too. So I don't feel as bad about it nowadays a hat backstage and one of my bandmates just said hey like maybe you should lose the hat i felt instant pressure and uh i already cut half of it off i just can't take it anymore it's brutal yeah it sucks so i've been online and just hearing some other guys stories because yeah it's pretty rough as a dude especially you know a musician who likes to headbang <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing, man. Is like that's why I fucking hate Summit. By the way, is Summit wears a hat all the time and he's not even going bald. It's like he's fucking showing it off. You know, it's just it's it's uh, yeah. Fuck him. Yeah, exactly. Believe that. Got the razor here. <laughs> this really sucks, but I think it's time. You Damn. Know, it just looks terrible. Can't rock a hat. I can't go out without rocking a hat. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Can't look any worse than this, right? It's <laughs> a good way to look at it. Damn. All right, let's try it. Dude, that sucks. Holy shit. Oh, you can't stop now. If I ever do this, I will I will shave the top part of my head right now uh, on the top. I mean, like the first. Because I just think it would be funny to see what I would look like with a skullet. Yeah, I just, I think that would be funny to see. And then maybe it would look so good, I'd just stop there. Do it right now? Nah, it's okay. Shit, man. Shit. I had a friend that did this. And he had the same kind of hair that this guy did. He had like that emo kid, scene kid hair in like 2009. It's Eric, by the way. And uh, I saw him one day and he was fucking bald. And I'm like, so you changed your hair? He says, yeah, it's your turn next. 
Oh man. Oh man, that was so like that was oh that was he didn't need to say that, man. Oh fuck. Damn. No going back now, that's for sure. No, I, I would hope not. Holy shit. Isn't it crazy like how it all of it comes right off the top and the sides are totally fine. Oh, look at this. That is nuts. Oh, mix this spot. There you go. Holy shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. It's... That's crazy. I think it looks all right. Holy fuck. I wonder if I'm ever going to have to do this. Of course you will. Uh huh. I was actually going to as a as a meme video and then I changed my mind because I was talking to Zach we were like driving to Chipotle or something and he said bro I wouldn't do that and I'm like why he's like well what if it doesn't grow back is not what happens wow it scared the shit out of me Man. I don't know how does it look damn <laughs> I mean, I, it looked a lot. It looks a lot better now than it did. Definitely a fucking improvement. I think you can say that for sure. You know, it actually feels pretty good. It's like a weight lifted off my chest. <laughs> Holy! All right. Oh, this is it. So I got a little to do in the back, but. Oh my god. Now we can start watching my stream. I'm this guy now, so welcome. I'm still gonna slay, but here we are. <laughs> Once I got it pretty much all off, I kind of looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, you know, I, I started smiling and feeling. Yeah, he looks really good in this. Yeah. Yeah, he looks great. I mean, this whole burst of almost relief and I just couldn't help but laugh and smile and and it was like a self-acceptance moment where it's like ah that doesn't look too bad wow yeah. it was like this this cool feeling that and I still get it through the last week you know when I see myself in the mirror I get that little jolt of like what the fuck oh, this is the new me yeah. it's, it's not that bad actually it's not as bad as I thought it would be I feel like my confidence has all of a sudden gone up where I can start focusing on other things and it's crazy to realize how much energy and concentration that i put into you know something i just didn't have control over anymore something that i could have accepted a few years ago and and just gone on with my life this whole kind of idea of holding on to these things that make us is just such an enormous amount of energy throughout our day and i feel like if you can just get to the point with yourself where you turn that energy and that focus on making changes or, you know, focusing on with what's within, then you will be more equipped to handle the hard times and the struggles in the future, you know, legitimately. Because that makes sense, right? You spend all your fucking time stressed out about shit you can't control. You're not going to have the energy to be stressed out about the stuff you can. 
So that that's where you're going to sure. have all that strength, not in the things that you will lose eventually. Going on YouTube and, and finding your community was huge for me. You know, I would go on Google and say like things like, hey, what's do women find men who are bald attractive? You know, the classic. Yeah, they find women who are bald attractive. They find women who have hair attractive. The problem is the balding. That's the issue. It's that middle ground that's really, oh. Questions that we ask are, what's an attractive head shape? What is the average age to go bald? Am the I in between? not average? Am I too young kind of thing? But then going on YouTube and finding this community of dudes who are obviously struggling, obviously young, old, have insecurities. And you know who the first person who called me bald was? my mom i showed her a video of me and zach and austin driving around in his convertible and we were driving down to jack in the box and she says pause the video and i'm like okay and she's like you're going bald and i'm like shut the fuck up what are you talking about she's like well you know you seen a picture of my dad? You seen a picture of Grampy? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, uh huh. <laughs> All this kind of stuff that you is like real life stuff. That was just this. Oh good. It's kind of like this thing where it's like, you know, I'm not the only one. Yeah. And and watching that, you just kind of root for the guy. You're like, man, just just accept it. Come on, man. Like you're gonna look great. So. After watching a bunch of videos and stuff, it's like you kind of hopefully you can tell yourself that and say, hey, you're going to be good. You're going to be OK. Unfortunately, it does take time. But if there's anything I can say to help speed that up so that you can just move on, that's what I would say. Damn. Dude, that's crazy. Holy fuck, man. I will say, like, I mean, he looks good with a, with a shaved head. Like, what the fuck, man? He looks good. Your turn. Here's one of the reasons why I don't like to, uh, I, I don't want to shave my head. Is, uh, there's a number of reasons. Uh, so, number one is that. I don't have any type of, uh, what do you call it? I, I, I don't have any teeth in the back of my mouth because they all rotted out. So that means my jaw muscles are really not very defined because I can't chew with my back teeth. I don't really use my jaw as much. That's what it is. That's number one. Uh, number two is uh, I'm skinny. There is nothing that looks worse than a skinny, bald guy. I think a, a, a bald guy who is in shape and especially a muscular bald guy that is fuck that i mean that's the, i mean fuck it's a rock right i mean like what do you yeah i mean there it is so it's just i i feel like i would look awful with a shaved head i think i i think i would i straight up actually think i would Ever since I buffed off my hair, I had to spend time using shampoo in the shower. Hard to have to spend any time using shampoo in the shower. When I had long hair, it took long as fuck. Yeah, true. Stop capping. It's because of marketing. Nah, it's, it's not. And uh, time to hit the gym. I mean, that's what I'd have to do. I'd have to work out. It's just like you. It took me four years to realize this step, and I was depressed as hell. It really takes a lot of pressure off. I mean... I don't know, like, I, I, I feel like my hair is kind of fine. Like, I, I actually don't, I, I don't think my hair looks that bad. It's like, yeah, I comb it over and like, yeah, I have a little, you know, my, my hair is receding. It, it is, but it's not that bad. It's fine. Yeah, I, I think it's fine. I've thought about, like, apparently, uh, I know Hassan takes hair, hair growth stuff, uh, Miz does, and it, it seems to work for them. I mean, fuck. But it's like, I don't know if I want to take that or not. That freaks me the hell out.
Yeah, I would be afraid. Miz is bald now. Is he now? I don't even know. He shaved his head? Oh, well, I mean, before that, I mean, his hairline looks pretty fucking good. That stuff destroys your hormones? Uh, snake oil? Well, I mean, like, you could say it's snake oil, but if you see a snake with a bunch of oil on it, you're like, damn, that's an oily snake. So it's like you look at them and they got, they got, their hair looks better. I mean, I guess actually when I think about that, that, yeah, actually didn't make any fucking sense. But you see what I'm saying though, right? I'm not even all about, yeah, yeah, that one doesn't make no sense. Have you considered implants for your back teeth? Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe I might do it. Like, I don't really give a fuck. Like, as I said, I, I am a degenerate through and through. You can't forget about that. What the fuck? Yeah, it's not that. I, I don't care. Like, it doesn't matter. As long as I eat a steak, that's all that needs to be done. Yeah, I eat a steak. It is what a steak. No mere mortal can live thousand gold. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what's this here? What do you mean? Even Finsteraid to prevent DHT conversion with testosterone? It's 5% more... Po I, I don't know what the fuck that shit is, man. I got no idea. It's just that it makes me not want to go and put stuff in, in my body that isn't normally there. Except for, obviously, fucking soda. Uh, if you're missing back teeth, I'd do it in a heartbeat if I was you. Yeah, but, like, the thing is, you're not. Like, you have to think, like, growing up and having all your teeth rot out whenever you're in your 20s. You're at such a low that you just, you can't care anymore. You can't think about it anymore. You can't, like, it, you don't have an ego anymore. Like, it, it is what it is. And so now I, I don't have any ego. People can call me whatever they want. Yeah, I might not want to hear it, but it doesn't really upset me. Ego, yeah, it's an actual like ego death. I mean, like it is. It, it sucks, or it did suck. Has having teeth an ego thing? Come on, it's not having teeth isn't an ego thing. Not having them is. Exactly, at forty, it's worse. Just chill and enjoy what you got. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but why not have hair implant? The chances, the even if chance. Oh, the hair transplant. Uh, I don't know, man. Like, I, I, I don't know if I want to get a fucking hair transplant, man. Like, that's a that's a lot. Yeah, you go back to attention aware, not permanent, so you can chew again. Maybe I just... Uh, it, it's just... Yeah, I mean, I just don't really give a fuck. Like, it, it doesn't matter to me. Like, you guys want to know how much of a, how much of a fuck I, I give about it? Okay. You see this? Look good, right? Look at that. The reason why I got these replaced is I usually look this side on the camera and I don't look on the other side. Yeah. As I said, no mere mortal. Oh man. I told you guys I was a degenerate. People didn't believe me. Oh, man.